The Marine Corps' first female artillery officers graduated from the Field Artillery Basic Officers Leaders Course at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, May 17, 2016, as part of the Marine Corps Gender Integration Implementation Plan. Having earned their commission and successfully completed the basic school, the Marine officers arrived here ready to be immersed in a fast-paced, progressive course that challenged both their intellect and endurance. They've gone through five and a half months of instruction. Uh, and gunnery side, they've already gone through two live fires. Uh, and they've also gone through fire support live fires. So now we're taking all those live fires that we've gone through, all the instruction, and we're putting it into one week. So this is the Red Leg War. It's the final event for the Army Bolick School. And it's just, you're doing two days on fire support and two days on gunnery. We spent the first two days with the firing battery, operating the guns. We also spent some days in the FDC, so doing the, the fire direction and processing calls for fire. In Red Leg War, our culminating event here, I was in FDO. Um, so basically I ran the FDC, the fire direction center, and we took calls for fire and I was in charge of making sure that we were able to process those calls for fire and get accurate information to send down to the gun line so that we could get those rounds downrange in a timely and accurate manner. Both Lieutenant Boy and Lieutenant Brody are honor graduates. Uh, Lieutenant Brody is graduating number one overall, so the distinguished honor graduate of 137 students. Hey, these two deserve to be an artillery officer because they wanted to be an artillery officer. And there's a difference between someone who is, I got picked to be an artillery officer. You know, I'm going to make it my best. I'll become that artif artillery officer and someone who's really, really wanted to be an artillery officer. You can see the difference. Upon fulfilling the necessary requirements for their MOS, the officers will leave Fort Sill ready to function as fire support or fire direction officers and increase the combat readiness of the Corps. I'm really excited to go to the fleet. I'm heading out to 111 in California. I'm really excited for the leadership aspect of it and meeting the Marines who we'll be working with and hopefully having a positive influence on them.